David Bancroft Johnson's destiny was to become a great educator. After college, Johnson moved to South Carolina, and in 1883, he became superintendent of schools in Columbia. He really believed education was important, particularly in the South, to rebuild the South after the Civil War. Uh, the problem he ran into was he couldn't find enough qualified teachers. Johnson traveled to Boston, Massachusetts, and approached Robert Winthrop with the idea to start a training school for teachers. The Winthrop Training School for Teachers held its first classes in 1886 in a chapel on the grounds of Columbia Theological Seminary. And in 1895, it relocated to Rock Hill. By 1900, Winthrop's enrollment had topped 500 students. Johnson's vision had become a reality. I think he really believed, was a true believer, that when he was preparing teachers, it wasn't just about teaching them how to teach. It was really providing them a well-rounded experience, so that meant having a curriculum that was diverse, but it also meant having experiences outside the classroom that contributed to their education. David Bancroft Johnson committed his life to Winthrop. He served as president from 1886 until he passed away in 1928. Having been president of this institution for 42 years, you can imagine how dear to my heart has become every brick and stone, every individual, in fact, everything connected with this institution. Johnson is remembered as a beloved father and husband. He was also very dear to his students, whom he considered his extended family. His legacy endures in every life touched by the education he made possible.